In this example, we're given the current student population of Lexington is 2,700, and the population decreases at a rate of 4.2% each year. So we're told that the population is decreasing each year. This is pointing us towards using the compound interest formula, where A of T means the accumulated amount, like what you end up with. P is principal when we're talking about banking problems, but it's a starting amount. Uh, one plus R is our rate. We'll write that as a decimal divided by the number of compoundings per year, number of times this happens each year. Um, in our example, we're told it's a rate of 4.2% each year. So that's going to be a one raised to the N times T where T is our time. So to get going on this, what I'd like to do is uh, list out all my variables off to the side. And what we're going to be doing is writing an exponential growth model for this future population of P of X, where X is in years. So A, P, R, M, and T is going to be all of our variables in the traditional model as, as it's written up above. Now, in this case, they've told us our future population is going to be represented by P of X instead of A of X. So P of X is going to go in for A of X's spot. P, the amount that we start with, was given to us at the beginning to be the current population is 2,700. our rate is decreasing at 4.2%. So negative 4.2%. But we do wanna rewrite this as a decimal by moving that decimal place over two places. So negative 0 0.042. All right, the number of compoundings per year, it's just once per year. If that would, we were told that was monthly, then it would be 12. But in the, this case, that each year at the end is a keyword that's gonna help us out on getting N. And they also changed our variable instead of T being time, they told us X is in years. So X is going to go in for T in this formula. So to write this formula, we have P of X equals 2700 times 1 plus negative 0 0.042 divided by 1 raised to the 1 times X power. Um, we can simplify this down reduce a little bit, make it a little bit cleaner. So 2,700 times 0 0.958 raised to the X power. The follow-up question, we're asked, what will this population be in nine years? And we're gonna to round to the nearest student. Um, in this case, that's just giving us a value for X, our number of years. So we're gonna plug into our formula, say P of nine equals 2,700 times 0 0.958 raised to the ninth power, get the calculators out, and that's going to be approximately 1,835 students. Um, another thing I should mention here on this one, that keyword decreases told us negative. If it was increasing, our rate would be positive. All right, hope this helps out. Good luck to you on modeling exponential functions.